The first thing is for us to accept as a global community of practice that there is in fact a new normal. Uh, this new normal is characterized by climate change. It's characterized by an increasing population in the world. It's characterized by a high demand for the basic needs. And of course, it's encapsulated in our collective ambition to meet the sustainable development goals. Clearly, we need to do things very differently from the way we've done it before, if we're going to achieve this. This means organizing for not only new solutions, like new D-cell, new sanitation, recycling uh, at scale, aquifer recharge, and a variety of interventions like that. It also means we have to do the current things that we do very differently. So we have to have a different way in which we're thinking about how we're progressing into the future. The second issue is that water is not going to achieve this in isolation. If we do not make the connections to energy, if we do not make the connections to food security, if we do not make the connections to health security, we're not going to organize ourselves to take advantage of what is possible in a nexus approach. We have to do this collectively and have value adding interventions that will not only achieve higher water security, but also achieve higher energy security, etc. We also have to do it in a way that removes the water risk away from the global risk register for the global economy. We must create an economy that has better water management that actually enhances the competitiveness of all of our companies. And the notion of the global project is absolutely critical. None of us, no country, can do this on their own. We have to work together, put our resources together, put our minds together, and organize ourselves to collectively lift ourselves into a much better space. Because it, it is possible. It's possible in 20 years from now to have a world that doesn't talk about water scarcity in the way that we currently do. We have the ability to organize for water availability to be much higher, for sanitation, dignified sanitation, to be available to everybody. And we have the opportunity to beneficiate in a way that we've never done before. This is the future. This is what's possible.